Hey there, Steve here. Hope you're doing well. If you're new to the channel, then welcome. Today, I would like to teach you three useful strumming patterns for math rock in 4-4 time. These are based on ideas that you'll hear in math rock songs, so there'll be variations of them. And yes, I did say 4-4 time. The strumming patterns that I'm going to show you today, they make use of syncopation. We're going to put the accent in less traditional places, and hence why it'll have more of a math rock kind of feel to it. Okay, so I'm going to use the same three chords for each example that I show you today. So this is an F major 9, D minor 9, and a C major 9. So our first strumming pattern has lots of energy and it's great for an intro to a song, for example. And basically we're going to displace this, we're going to put an accent on the E of the second and the fourth beat. And this, it will sound like this. So I feel like this strumming pattern has a, a lot of energy to it. And you could even accent that offbeat even more by doing, um, you know, some palm muting. And lastly, we could add in some dead notes. This is where we're not playing the chord, but we're hitting the strings in a rhythmic manner. Like this. And um, basically we get the intro that sounds something similar to a Birdhouse by Tiny Moving Parts. Alright, so moving on to our second example. This one has a bit more space to it. Um, to me it feels more like a, you know, like a big section within a song or even the introduction. And uh, the rhythm goes like this. So I feel this progression works best with like some big chords. There's a bit more space in it, and I really think this is a good rhythm. Uh, there's an example that's similar to this by Gulfer, the band Gulfer, and I think the song is called Heat Wave. Uh, but instead, we hold the and longer, and then we add two dead notes at the end. So I'll, I'll demonstrate that quickly. <laughs> So last one, we're actually going to do a rhythm, a strumming pattern for two guitar parts. So I think this is probably the first time I've tackled something like this on the channel. So for those who are looking for some content with two guitars, um, we've finally got some here. Basically, this progression is based around that um, left, right, left, right kind of feel you get with guitars, where it pans left and right when the guitars play individually from each other. Um, usually what will happen in those kind of examples is there's a, a unison part where both the guitars are playing the same rhythm and then they will go on the offbeat of each other and then they'll come back together. Uh, an example will help and that's what I'll show you right now. So in this example, basically the we're on the beat for each one of them. We're playing staccato, it means we're playing short notes. And then as you heard in the next bar in the, in the example you just saw, one guitar plays on the beat, so one, two, three, and the other guitar plays on the off beat. One, and two, and three, and. And you get this lovely, you know, left and right thing going on in your headphones there or your speakers, which I think sounds wonderful. Okay then, so there's three rhythms. Hopefully that can get you out of a rut if you are stuck in a rut and just inspire you to start writing some stuff. I tried to get an example of two guitar parts in there, so hopefully you can experiment with that and have some fun with that. If you would like to learn some more rhythms, um, they will be in my math rock guidebook in the update that's coming very soon. I'm gonna have a section on, um, you know, strumming patterns in 4-4 and different time signatures. Um, so there's a link for that down below. It's not currently there, but the update is coming soon and then that will be at the, in the update. So if you do purchase the guide, uh, I have your email and then basically when the guide is updated, you'll, you'll get the new edition of it there. So I wanna say thank you very much to the patrons that support this channel. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please leave any video recommendations below. I'm always looking for ideas and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.